and leave it to contrarian badass Reggie Middleton. He, Reggie walks in looking really cool. He's got a Google Glass on, and I'm like, man, that's cool. And did he walk what did like you? That? Yeah, he walked like that. That's how you walk <laughs> if you've got you Google like Glass that? on. Everyone really? walks real cool. Nuts. He called the housing crash. He called the collapse of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers. He's been harping on the crisis in the Eurozone banking system for years now, so he's just the guy to talk to. He's Reggie Middleton. Reggie Middleton. Reggie Middleton. <laughs> Reggie Middleton. Oh, he doesn't mince his words. We're talking about Reggie Middleton. Ooh. It's Reggie, Reggie Middleton. Um, let's talk about knowledge. Well, knowledge can be bifurcated, two different pieces. You have uh, knowledge that, or know that, in which you take information and you memorize it, rote memorization. This is what the vast majority of academic studies are. Um, renowned schools such as Brooklyn Tech, Harvard University, etc. Um, calls you in grammar schools. They say, memorize your times tables. Two times two equals four. Four times two equals 16. Memorize this, tibia, fibia, etc. That's knowledge that. Knowing facts. Rote memorization. Then you have something called knowledge how. The second half of uh, what knowledge is. Knowledge how on the street is known as know-how. Know-how is knowing how to do something, which is in direct contrast to knowing that, which is knowing what that is. Perfect example, riding a bike. So, knowledge that is knowing the physics behind riding a bike. Knowing how much pressure it takes to move the pedals, knowing what speed and what ratio the gearing needs to be to get the wheels to go at a certain speed, to get the rider to go at a certain speed on the bike. Engineers, knowledge that. Rote memorization. It might be difficult, but you can memorize it and learn it. Knowledge how, know-how, is the ability to ride that bike. I don't know what the gear ratio is to get the pedals to turn at a certain speed relative to the wheels, but I know how to get on that bike and ride it from here to there. I know how to do a wheelie on that bike and ride that bike on one wheel from one side of the block to the other. Knowledge how, knowledge that. The reason why I'm able to outperform so many others, I could pull out these issues with Deutsche Bank, with Lehman Brothers, with Bear Stearns, but the rating agencies can't, and the sell site analysts can't, and all the pundits that you see on CNBC and Bloomberg and the internet cannot, because knowledge how, know how, that's how I survive. Okay? I see how things are done, not necessarily that things are done. So, I could get on the bike and ride it, or I could have people discuss you know, how the bike works. Um, people could discuss the ins and outs of leverage versus risk-based capital, or I can discuss whether that bank is valued correctly, whether the amount of risk in that bank is excessive if that bank goes bust. I have an outstanding sterling track record, and I'm confident. So, coming back to that topic of know that versus know how, knowledge that versus know, uh, knowledge how, and the shortcomings of um, the American academic system from kindergarten all the way up to PhD, all right, covering grad school, MBAs, undergrad, etc. And yes, I'm challenging everybody. And since we've started our own university online, this is an open challenge to anybody in academia, okay, anybody in the profession. You point out who collapses first and why, and I'll do the same. We'll check for accuracy and efficiency. Direct challenge, sell side analysts, academia. Let's dance. Now, after I'm finished threatening, I'm sorry, challenging, I'm sorry, bring the truth to everybody. So one example of knowledge how versus knowledge that is traditional academia, matriculation, is basically 100% know that. Forced rote memorization, R-O-T-E, memorization. Again, times tables and uh, terms and definitions, which has its use, of course, and you do need to know them but you also need to know how to do things. The reason why America is great was during the industrial age, you had much less of this academic rote memorization style of matriculation. You had much more know-how. People who knew things and had actual skills, right, and talents that they were able to teach, pass them on to everybody else through the disciple mentorship. As you have a, a, a blacksmith, right, who makes horseshoes and creates guns, um, a, metal, a metallurgist, and he teaches his disciple how to bend metal, right? how to 
bang a horseshoe, a how to design, how to curve metal, cool it, etc. This is a skill that he passes on to somebody else through practice. Now, that person would be a superior um, merchant relative to somebody who went to school for said skill and learned from a teacher. Because this teacher, again, teaches rote memorization, very, very little hands-on um, advice and experience. So this skill, which was passed on from generation to generation, but usually on a one-to-one -one basis, or one-to-two or three basis, is now uh, commoditized, commercialized, and is taught from a professor, single professor, to 20, 30, 40, 100 students often. Okay, so number one, the personal attention is not there. And number two, the actual passing of the knowledge and skill has been watered down, if not totally destroyed, which is why the skills that are necessary, the know-how that is necessary to do a, a slam-bang job simply doesn't exist. Um, of course, I could be wrong, but remember my challenge to all of the Ivy League academia, to anybody on the sell side. Let's start naming the banks to go. Let's start naming financial institutions to go, name the linkages that cause them to go, and where. Okay? I have your beat with Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers, the property market, commercial real estate, residential housing, etc. It's happening again. Everybody with that rosy demeanor, let's dance. Let's prove it. We'll pull our research up. I'll even publicize some of it, the stuff that I charge for, and we'll see who wins out. Know how, know that. Reggie Middleton versus the world. Ooh, it's Reggie, Reggie Middleton.